Hey guys, we're back and a little bit more rested this time. Had a great day today. Got to tour Kiev a little bit, see some sights and sounds, and um, just check out the beauty of this city. The architecture is incredible. Um, saw some monasteries that date back like six or 700 years, which was pretty cool. Um, but the night all ended at Independence Square with the 500th anniversary celebration of the Reformation. And so Terry spoke about the power of one and the impact um, that every individual person can have when they say yes to God. And that's really the story of Orphan's Promise. Um, you know, when, when Terry was adopting the girls, my sisters, um, you know, there were some hang-ups in the adoption process, and she just kept asking God, you know, God, is this ever going to happen? Are we ever really going to get these girls, or were you just trying to test my obedience? And God said to her, this is about so much more than three girls from Ukraine. This is about changing the nations and really bringing a message of hope to orphans around the world. And so we've seen that played out over the course of almost 12 years now at Orphan's Promise. Um, but the Reformation, 500 years later, one person said yes to God, and it was about something far bigger than um, just the birth of Protestantism. Now we've seen the gospel go forth across the world, um, the Bible in people's hands, the, the gospel being shared in literally every corner. And so um, just a neat place to be tonight. Nick Voyage spoke about how God has a plan and purpose for every one of us, how he was a young man with disabilities. You know, he's got no arms and no legs, and, and um, life was looking pretty dim for him. He wasn't sure why he was even alive. Um, but he met Jesus and found his plan and purpose, and now he travels the world speaking and sharing that message of hope. And so tonight there were estimates between thirty and 50,000 people in Independence Square who showed up, and thirty to 50,000 people heard the gospel. And there were plenty more watching on television and watching online, and um, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of people accepted the gospel for the first time tonight and met Jesus. And so just an incredible night. It took place, like I said, in Independence Square, which is where uh, the revolution began here recently that, that spurred the war with Russia, um, where the people kind of stood up and said, we want to be a, we want to be Ukraine, we want to be an independent country. We don't want to be ruled by anyone else. We don't want to um, be limited in terms of religion. And so it's been a war that's going on for four years, and it's definitely devastated some of the Ukrainian people. But it's also opened the door for us, as Orphans Promise, to go in and meet those needs, meet those hurting people with food and water, with new housing, with rescuing people from the war zone, um, and in many cases, when we do that, it also opens the door for us to share the gospel as well. And so we've plant, planted churches along the way. Um, I know that many, many lives have been given to Jesus because of um, ministry from Orphan's Promise to people impacted by the war. And so we just ask that you continue to pray for the work we're doing here. We've got 38 projects throughout the country of Ukraine. This is where we began. So it's incredible to be back here anyways and just kind of see what it is that God has done since he first gave Terry that dream so many years ago. Um, but we are honored to be here. We're going to meet the CBN Ukraine office team tomorrow. There's 150 people who work here making sure that the gospel goes forth through Superbook and a Ukrainian version of the 700 Club through Orphan's Promise. And so um, God is doing incredible things here, and he's got big plans for Ukraine, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. So hope you'll continue to follow along all week. I'll do my best to share some photos and some more video. We should have some great media coming from the event tonight uh, in the next day or two. But um, again, follow along, share this with your friends. Please um, pray for us as we're here, both for safety and just for God's blessings on the work that we're doing in Ukraine. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>